Good morning, folks. Little sun dive and comet disintegrating this morning on approach to the corona, a Kreutz family comet member. Today we've got eyes on a slumbering star, increasing earthquake risks, bad news for aspiring life on certain exoplanets, and more. But let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star were definitely calm. There does not appear to have been any eruptions or CMEs. Solar flaring is bubbling up into sea range still, but again, it's not of any significance, especially because, as I said, they are not really pumping out any ejecta, and therefore not expected to significantly alter the solar wind. Speaking of which, the solar wind has been calm and is calming as well, definitely in the quiet ambient stream right now, but there could be an uptick coming in three or four days from the trans-equatorial coronal hole coming in just behind the brighter active region. Quake watch peaks tonight. But meanwhile, that Central America alert we've had on for days will likely wane soon with multiple volcanoes erupting there and probably releasing a fair amount of the pressure. So now on to the top story. Out there right now, somewhere in the cosmos, amidst the dust and gases and plasma and magnetic fields, at large scales, we have what can be described as a bit of a web, cosmic highways of material. And somewhere within one of them right now is a burgeoning star system. It's got a red dwarf star, it's got multiple planets, perhaps looking a bit like our own Jovian system, or like the TRAPPIST-1 system that's been making so much news of late. Well, it turns out that the right chemistry, water, and life seedlings are starting off at a major disadvantage to success with the powerful flaring of its local sun. New article out painting a harsh picture for those hoping to find life on many, many of the exoplanets we know circle red and brown dwarf systems. The flaring of the star, by the way, is again the reason I said subsurface ice shielded organisms on TRAPPIST-1H are the most likely candidates to survive. Sorry, Anu. We've got wind maps, null school up through the atmosphere, and shots of our star to close. We'll do it all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.55 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.